Okay, we're back. Uh, glue's all dry, we're ready to do the final seam. So what I like to do, I like to start from one side, go to the other side, and then do the middle. Now what I want to do is come with both hands, make sure we're tight up against the collar, and then push it together, meet in the middle, and push her down. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Then we just work our way down, push together, push it down, the whole way down. This is the hardest part of the whole job. And sometimes, like this leather is actually really pliable. So I may have an issue. I may have to pull it apart and recut that seam. We're going to wait and see what happens. This is really soft. So it's stretching. So see my cut might not be any good. And we'll figure that out together. But sometimes because it is stretchy, we might be able to just flatten it out. Especially if a wrap's got texture to it, you can get away with hiding some stuff. You'll see this wrinkle in the middle. It just went away. So here we are, the wrap is now seamed, it's done, so I'm going to, the key is still locked in my headstock, so it's pretty invisible, I, I think you probably can't see too much of that, especially with the texture here, any stuff that's not perfect is going to just hide, so I'm going to unlock my headstock, so the key is going to be able to spin now. My next favorite tool for doing leather wraps is this little laminate press. And I just want to roll over the whole thing and make sure it's flat. Any wrinkles in there, we're just going to press it down onto that contact cement, just like you would with a, with a linoleum floor or peel and stick tiles or <laughs> what have you. We just want to make it flat. We want to make sure it sticks and everything is good and flat. Now depending on what color of leather you wrap, you're going to probably want to hide the seam, you know, depending how it turned out and how everything lined up. And if it's sunny outside or raining, a lot of things can affect the way your seam looks. <laughs> you hold your tongue right. You might want to take and there's the seam there you can see it just a little bit if the light hits it right you might want to take a little bit of shoe polish and just rub a little bit of shoe polish on there and it'll hide that seam but this is uh, it turned out real good I'm real happy with that and I'm pretty sure the customer is going to be happy with that too if you can do a leather wrap like that all the time you're going to have some real happy customers and that's it any questions, just shoot me an email. Thank you for watching.